I'm telling you, man, this is the guy I would like to be. I would like to be one of the heads of the Hells Angels. Really? Yeah, I would how like to be, be the head I would of like hell. to be, how do you get to be the, a pretty tough guy. Yeah, I get, see, that's what's good about being famous, you get to hang out with real men. Oh, okay. I know what I'm saying? All right. All right, guys, this is a video that was uh, really high on the votes. Jean-Claude Van Damme street fight, or club fight, bar fight. So you saw uh, Van Damme walk in with uh, Mickey Rourke, who's another buddy of yours, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know. Club fight, bar fight, against Chuck Cito. You should have the Batmobile. <laughs> against Chuck Cito. You know, bodyguard. Ben, you actually bodyguarded him or something, right? Yes, I did. You did? He was back, yeah. You figured the guy's a nice guy. He's a friend of yours. Well, yeah, but he uh, seen the bigger he got, the uh, bigger swelled head he got, so. Now, how do you like these guys who get famous and then they get a swelled head? Yeah. You know, they, they got to be put in their place. Well, yeah. If you ask well, me. You know, bodyguard, martial artist, ex-Hells uh, Angels, or still Hells Angels, I'm not sure. You're still one of the heads of the Hells Angels? You know, it doesn't have anything to do with Hells Angels or anything. If, if you're a man, you're not going to take any abuse from anybody. Right. You know, he's got a pretty intense resume. He's also done some stunt work, you know. Tough guy, tough guy thinks, tough guy shit, he's a real fighter. Actually, where, where, where the uh, restaurant is, you could just see one of the stages. Right. Oh, so little, you're not even like near the girls. secluded, yeah. That's yeah. cool. Like, you don't even bother looking at the That's girls, right. you're actually you there to eat. You the girls. Yeah. What we eat? Uh, filet mignon. No kidding. Oh, yeah. You eat red meat, right? Oh, and, cool. Yeah. You don't even waste time. Yeah, don't even, right? <laughs> you'll, beat, you'll beat a vegetarian's ass if he even bothers you about <laughs> it, right? Yeah. Right. This is a breakdown of this fight. Basically, what happened is, and it all goes back to the bouncers of the club. Mickey, Mickey heard I was there, so he sent word to uh, through one of the bouncers there. and said, "Come up and say hello." Right. So I said, "All right, when I'm finished uh, having my dinner, I'll come say hello." Right. And that's what happened. That's cool. Like you don't even rush over to the table like some girl. You don't leave no, your food. No, no. Right. You don't leave your food. You have a nice <laughs> meal, and you'll you'll get to Mickey Rock when you can get to him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Hey, hey, f Mickey Rock, man. I'll be there when I'm done with my steak. You dumb bastards. <laughs> the bouncers of the club. Right. Hi. Yeah, dude. Look. Yeah, we make them a lot, Hello. So they're gonna walk him for us. Um, <coughs> back at that system. Okay, you guys can help me come on over. You get in front of me now? Just walk backwards, I'll walk slow. So basically what happens is it all goes back to the bouncers of the club. See, uh, people like Chuck Cito that have also bounced, that have done bodyguard work, bouncers, people like this, you know, in that world, there's a lot of truth going on. By that I mean, um, I was talking to Viking Samurai not long ago and he was telling me how he thinks everybody's got a little bit of Frank Dukes in him. I was like, dude, speak for yourself. The world I come from, I know you've been around movie stars and all these type of people that live, that live in a made-belief world. But that's not the world of bouncers. That's not the world of bodyguards. That's not the world of real fighters that bodyguard and that, uh, that also bounce and do martial arts and fight. You know, um, as an example, I met a guy yesterday uh, who I didn't even meant to meet, but basically I got offered work as a bouncer and the guy's a cage fighter and a bouncer. The point is these kind of people don't go around making up stuff because you're in the bar, everybody sees what happens. It's kind of hard to lie about it. When you build a rep in that life, it's a different thing. What kind of name is Jean? That's like a girl's a name, girl's name. Bart. Yeah. <laughs> you saw Jean the last time you saw him was in St. Bart's? St. Bart's, yeah. Or was he wearing a thong out there or something? Uh, I wasn't really looking, you know? Right, yeah. So, uh... What happened is, Van Damme went into the restroom, they were at, he was at a strip club or a club uh, with Mickey Rourke, so Mickey Rourke was also there, he's seen this, even though he doesn't talk about it. I said hello to Mickey, I said hello to Jean-Claude, and he just was a little, wasn't the gracious host that, uh, Jean-Claude. And then he just gets right in my face and he says, because you're full of shit. Oh, right, well, let me believe that. 